Hello? Uh-huh. Yeah, I can duel. I don't know, like an obelisk glue, I guess. Uh-huh. Underground dueling. I don't think I've heard of that. I mean, it sounds fun, but... I'm not really supposed to be leaving my house for anything except for emergencies, so... A playmat? Oh my god, I've literally always wanted one of those. This is so exciting. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yes, um... So... About this whole playmat situation, exactly what place do I have to get to, uh, to, uh, get said playmat? Uh-huh. Only fifth place? Really? I can get fifth place. I live my whole life in fifth place. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the thing is, uh, I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of filming a YouTube video. Yeah, ten subscribers. Can you believe that? Yeah, I know. It's pretty exciting. Um... So, if I could just, like, get your name and number written down, um, hello? 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 Oh, well, boring conversation anyway. Hey guys, it's me, Lofi Yu-Gi-Oh, and today I will be talking about my top 10 hated decks. Now, my number 10 is Endymion's. Now, Endymion's, it's kind of like the Oprah Winfrey show, where it's just like, you get a spell counter, you get a spell counter, you get a spell counter. Like, they all get spell counters for, like, no reason. Like, one of them gets a spell counter if it's summoned. The other one gets a uh, spell counter if it attacks a monster. And then every time, like, a spell is activated, like, everyone gets a spell counter. And if they get destroyed, one of them gets a search off. But then, if any of them are destroyed, they get to transfer their spell counters onto a monster on the field that can also, like, get spell counters. Um, then, like, their ending board is, like, four negates on top of they can bounce anything. Like, if you summon a monster, they get to bounce it off the, uh, back to your hand. And all they have to do, is, I've been put in a situation where, like, you know, I'll, like, try to, like, work around it. I'll be like, okay, um, I activate this card, you know, to draw two cards. Like, oh, nope, it's negated. It's like, okay, down to five cards. I guess I'll play this one, like a Raigeki. And it's like, oh, nope, like, negate because of, like, this card. And then I'll have, like, three cards. Uh, I can't summon because I tried normal summoning, and that didn't really work. So now I'm down to, like, like a trap card and then, like, um, and then, like an Ash Blossom. And... I'm just like, okay. You can't do anything! Okay, I might as well just scoop. And then he has, like, the audacity to, like, just, like, message me. He's like, hey, man, like, what are you doing? Like, I thought we were, we were just getting started, man. Like, what are, you, what are you doing? I'm like, look, you're not letting me do anything. Like, if you want to duel, duel this wall. Because you'll get the same level of enjoyment either way. And he just, like, laughs. He's like, oh, uh, uh, lol. <laughs> Don't be that guy. Now, my number nine is Gar Dragons. Now, Gar Dragons, their main deck monsters are all, like, super mediocre, which is why no one plays them. But the only reason they, like, people play Gar Dragons is for their extra deck monsters, because they have, like, the most stupid, like, generic effects. They're like, oh, you know, if you co-link me, you get to special summon a dragon monster from, like, anywhere, and it doesn't matter what level it is, it's just, like, it has to be a dragon. Like, oh, that's pretty convenient if you want to, like, abuse... Dragon Sport, but the thing is, there's nothing like that for anything else in the game. So, like, why would you give it to Dragons, which are already broken enough with Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal, and, like, all this broken uh, Dragon Sport? Because, like, every year they get, like, new, um, new Blue Eyes support that, like, is generic and can work with, like, almost any Dragon deck. Um, but, yeah, it's just annoying because it's just, like, a consistent engine to get to these broken boss monsters. And no one's really doing anything about it. I just, it would be worth my life if I do not report this. It's only until tomorrow, and he's going to take it off again. Uh, After he steals the tank. Oh? From the Panzer Division. Oh? He brings it here into the barrel. Oh, I see nothing. I was not here. I did not even get up this morning. I just feel like, like, why is this not being stopped? Like, it, it's just crazy to me, you know? Uh, luckily, I don't see it a lot, and when I do see it, usually, like, they're a scrub, and they don't really know how to play the deck yet. Um, so, anytime I've, like, gone over it, it's, like, pretty easy to get over. But I've read their cards, and they're all, like, super, like, 
like, broken for no reason. They're just, like, so generic, and they work with everything. <laughs> like, I've seen, like, desk bots, dinosaurs, uh, of course, dragons, but, like, cyverse monsters, uh, splash into it, and it's just, like, what the fuck am I looking at? Like, what, what kind of deck is this? You know? Um, but, yeah, that's why it's at my number nine. I don't see it a lot. Well, yeah, I don't see it a lot, but what? Now, my number eight is Madolches. Now, Madolches wouldn't make this list, but they just got new support. And they're a deck from, like, Gladiator Beast days. Probably, like, I don't know. Like, this was when I was, like, really young in Yu-Gi-Oh! But, like, why Madolche is getting new support when there's so many other decks that are, like, more deserving? Like, there's so many people who are like, oh, like, let's make Black Wings, like, meta-relevant again. Like, all these other decks that, like, have just, like lost like have been overshadowed by power creeping in the game um so i'm like why madolches because like madolches had their time in the sun but there's so many other decks that just like like they could have used like that extra boost um so i kind of hate it because there's just so many more decks in the game that deserve like new support and I don't understand why, like, Madolches are getting it, so it kind of pisses me off a bit. But if it wasn't for that, they probably wouldn't even be on this list. Like, yeah, their playstyle is, like, really annoying, and they can be hard to deal with. But, yeah, it's mostly because of the support thing. Now, my number seven is Zombies. Now, it's mostly because of Doom King, Zombie World, and the new, like, Eldritch card that's kind of going around. Um... Because Eldritch and Doom King can kind of like revive themselves like each turn, which I'm back, bitches. Just kind of annoying to deal with. They're like uh, Greffa, but I feel like Greffa is kind of like easier to deal with, kind of because they they at least need um, like a Dark World monster on the field. So as long as you like, you know, they run out of Dark World monsters, you know, Greffa is not really a problem. But these cards kind of just revive themselves. Plus. Um, because, like, all your monsters are, like, zombies, they can kind of, like, abuse that fact with, like, all their effects. Uh, so I just find that kind of, like, playstyle a little annoying. But I feel like if I played zombies, like, it's, it's like one of those decks where you hate seeing it, but you love playing it because it, you get so much advantage, like, really easily. But, I don't know. Now, my number six is Invokes. Now, Invokes just... I, I hate them because they do the same thing every turn. And it's just like so annoying. They're like, they're like the modern day Insectors where Insectors were like Ophion Infestation. Whereas this one, this deck is Alistair Invocation. Like, I just hate decks that are super repetitive. Like, I'm good with being competitive, but if you're repetitive, then like, I just find it so annoying. Because they can sit on like, uh... They can sit on their, like, fusion card. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's got, like, this crazy name. But I feel like everyone knows the one where, like, you get to discard a card, and whatever that card type is, your opponent can activate those effects. Something like that. And they splash really well with Shadal, which is also a pretty stunny control-type deck, where they special summon Winda. And now, you as the opponent can't special summon more than two monsters, which is super annoying, because then you really can't deal with it unless you have, like, uh, like the right spell or trap card uh, in your hand because if you don't you're kind of fucked um, but yeah I just kind of find their playstyle kind of annoying and repetitive that's mainly why I hate it now my number five is uh, trick stars now trick stars I feel like are on a lot of people's hated list because they're basically like the taxes of Yu-Gi-Oh this is your lunch now you should be able to do whatever you want to with this right if you want to eat all of it, great. If you want to throw it away in the garbage, that's your prerogative. But here I come, the government. That, Lauren, is how taxes work. That's not fair. Oh, and I feel like a play style like that really shouldn't be a thing. Like, I feel like you shouldn't be punished for playing the game. Cause like, oh, every time you draw, guess what? I get to burn you for this amount. And every time you get burned, I get to burn you even more. And I have this one card that kind of forces you to do those things. Like, oh, guess what? You have to send five cards to the graveyard. 
which I get to burn you like 500 for each one plus another 300 for each time I burn you. Um, and then you get to draw five cards, which I get to burn you for each card that you draw, which is super annoying. Um, and it's not that like, it, it, it's just like a play style that I just like find really annoying. Um, like, I hate being punished for just playing the games. Like, oh, like, I summon this card. It's like, oh, I have this card that, you know, basically senses of the graveyard. And guess what? I get to burn you for another thing. So I'm just like, it's just annoying to go up against, which I kind of hate. Now, my number four is any stun deck. Like, I don't really have a problem with Mystic Mind, because Mystic Mind kind of works for both players, and I find it to be pretty fair. Uh, and helpful against the meta. Like, it's pretty, like, anti-meta card because no meta deck really abuses it. It's just, like, for, uh, like, rogue decks to kind of fight the meta. So I don't have a problem with that. But when it's, like, paired with stun, it's just, like, another, like, tool for them to abuse. And the real reason I hate stun, like, the big reason is they'll give you, like, a glimmer of hope or that you... They put you in, like, a false sense of security where you think you're going to win. And then they pull up, like, some weird shenanigan that kind of delays your victory another turn. No stairway. Denied. So, I really hate how long it takes to, like, beat them. And if you're, like, it's like, oh, like, it's just, like, super defensive and, like, stall tactics that I hate. Because games go for like 20 turns, so I'm just like wasting my time going against this person who has like really no like end goal. They're just trying to stall you out and kind of get rid of your card so that they can like either burn you with like these crazy like burn you for a thousand each turn kind of cards. Like the one where it like flips up and then it gets to burn you for like a thousand for whatever. So I just find that like stall playstyle super annoying. And it's like it's like when you're watching Netflix and the screen starts to buffer and it's not really letting you like watch your show or like watch your movie and I just like it's like bad Wi Fi connection is basically what the deck is. So that's why I hate it. Now my number three is Paleozoics. Now, I don't really hate the whole oh I'm a trap, but I'm also a monster type of play style because I feel like it's kind of a, like a, an homage to what Mako did where he's like, oh, all my, all my cards are underwater. You can't see them. Um, so it's kind of like that. Like they're like these underwater creatures and you really don't know what you're going up against. So I think that's kind of cool. It's annoying, but it's still kind of cool. And I see what they were going with. And it makes sense for the cards that they are. Um... But I hate how they give frogs a bad name. Like, frogs got this really nice support card in Tree Toad, or Totally Awesome. Maybe you've heard of it. But now it's limited, Now and now frogs can't use that card. And I feel like I blame most of it on Paleozoaks, because they're like their main deck that can kind of abuse uh, Tree Toad. So, yeah, that's why they're at my number three. Because they're kind of ruining a really good thing for one of my favorite decks at the moment. So, yeah. Now, my number two is Subterrors. Now, I hate Subterrors kind of for the same reason I hate Invokes, where there's only really three cards in Subterrors that actually really matter. There's Umastrix, Guru, and the Field Spell. The Field Spell allows them to flip face up and face down over and over again. And then Umastrix um, banishes a card each turn it's flipped face up. And then Guru gets to search out more Subterror cards. Um, so as long as they get like those three cards, um, they're, like, pretty set. The other cards don't really matter, I feel like, as much. Um, they're just, like, fluff to kind of distract you from their main plays. Um, but, yeah, like, I'd rather a deck OCK me so I could just get it over with. Like, where sub is just kind of, like, force you into a false sense of security where you think you might win, but then they pull off some crazy sub shenanigan, uh, which delays the game, or they, like, slowly, like, whittle down your life points over time, which is kind of just annoying. You know what I mean? Some people like to complain that, like, things are, like, way too OTK heavy. But, like, I prefer that over just, like, a slow, just annoying, trolly kind of deck like Subterrors. You know what I mean? 
Now, my number one is Dragon Maids. Now, Dragon Maids, if you don't know how, how they play, they're kind of like Gladiator Beast and Cosmos had a baby. And instead of uh, baby formula, they just fed it nitrous. Plus their dragons, so they can just abuse Dragon Sport on top of their card, their like archetype exclusive cards that are already kind of like broken and give them a whole lot of consistency. Um, but yeah, Dragon Maids are kind of like that, like, they're like a hot girl you see at a party. And then you go up to try to talk to her, and then right before you get to talk to her, her boyfriend kind of steps in and is like, yo man, you gotta back off or else we might have a problem here. I'm like, alright, okay, cool, I get it, I mean it's a party, but whatever. So, yeah, I just kind of hate how their playstyle is just like other decks, but just way more consistent and like way faster. And just like way too convenient. Like, all their cards just like serve one purpose of just... Switch out, switch out, switch out, switch out, switch out. Which, I hate cards that just kind of can't stand still. Like, 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 fight me like a man. Don't just, like, pull all this, like, like, you know, weak stuff. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's why I said my number one. So, those are my ten hated decks. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below any of your hated decks. And if you like the video, make sure to leave a like down below. Um, subscribe. I post a new video every week, or I might do two this week. Um, if EDO Pro decides to work, I want to like share my deck profile with you guys. Um, and honestly, like, thank you for anyone who made it this far in the video and who's like supported me through all this. Because if you haven't noticed, I'm not the most comfortable person on camera, but I figured like I kind of like take myself out of my comfort zone and like you know, start a YouTube channel. So I think anyone who, like, supported this channel so far and anyone who's supporting the Instagram channel, um, just, like, thank you for, like, bearing with me while I figure this whole YouTube thing out because uh, I have a lot of fun making these videos and um, sharing my Yu-Gi-Oh! opinions with, like, people who will, like, actually listen because I don't have, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! friends in real life. So I kind of... It's fun to kind of share my Yu-Gi-Oh! opinions with, like, People who actually get the game and aren't just like, uh-huh, 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 you know? Um, so thank you to anyone who made it this far, and um, I hope you guys have a better day, or a good day and a better tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Um, peace. Bye. <laughs>